Good morning, Patriots. I can't hear you. I said good morning, Patriots. Yes, welcome and thank you for coming out today. What's a little rain on a Saturday afternoon? We're here for liberty and love of country. So who cares if our hair gets wet? Today brings back great memories for me because four years ago, Freedom Works had the amazing march on DC, 912. And that event drew over 800,000 freedom loving Americans. And because of that rally, I was launched as a national figure to stand for liberty stand on the front line for liberty. I was introduced by Jenny Beth Martin four years ago at that event, and now she is the leader of Tea Party Patriots. My friends, the progressive Democrats and their media allies are after us. They have called us extremists, rednecks, racists. Is it getting tired or what? It's getting tired because we have the facts on our side. Progressive Republicans are trying to undermine our efforts and limit our power. The Tea Party has brought in a core group of constitutional conservatives who are advancing our goals for liberty. Where will we be? without Senators Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, and Rand Paul. Where will we be? Big government is a threat to our liberty. Look at the abuse of power we are witnessing under Obama's big government watch. NSA is spying on us. IRS is intimidating us. EPA is bankrupting the coal industry. It's an alphabet soup of utter nonsense that is reducing our liberty. I have three more letters to add to this alphabet soup. NFW, and I will keep it clean. No freaking way. Not on our watch, no way. Now, in the wake of the government shutdown, Obama is inflicting pain on innocent Americans. Innocent Americans, our brave World War II veterans denied access to their memorial that they fought hard for, paid for by private citizens' donations, mind you. Obama's trying to make a point by roping off that area. My husband and I contributed to that monument. My uncle fought in World War II. He passed away a year ago this month. My husband's father, we both included a dedication for both of them for their honors. Private donations. And then there's Harry Reid. <laughs> Harry Reid. Reed will not allow a vote to fund cancer treatment for children. For children. Our government should not pick winners and losers. Should not. And I am sure there are thousands of Americans who will gladly go to the World War II monument and clean up and keep it safe. Gladly. As government shrinks, millions of Americans will step up to fill the void. And that is why we are here today, to fill the void, because government is failing us. We will replace government bureaucrats. Take names, make your list. We will replace them. Our movement is ready and willing to work hard for our country. We're here today. We're ready to clean the parks, clean the streets, 
So tell me, I want to know, are you ready today? Yeah. Are you ready today to stand with me for liberty, clean the streets, keep our country free and safe? Stand for liberty, stand on the front lines for freedom. I want to thank all of you for coming out today. Be safe and God bless you all.